part of the three fundamental multiple choice questions. The questions based on the operators. We know that there are main four types of operator: arithmetic, relational, assignment, logical operator. Now we will see different multiple choice questions based on this operator. Question number one: Which of the following is not a unary operator in C? Plus plus that is your increment, decrement operator, not operator, and this is multiplication operator. And your answer is B. All these increment, decrement, and not are the unary operator. Question number two: Ternary operator requires how many operands? See ternary operator for unary operator requires the one operand for the binary requires the two operand and for ternary we require the three operand. So answer is C. Three. Question number three: Which of the following are not binary operator? Okay, which of the following is not binary operator? And or not? And this is remainder sign modulus operator. And the answer is C. Not is a not a binary operator. For this, you can use the single operand. Question number four: The remainder operator or modulus operator requires that both operands be integer and the second operand be non-zero. See, modulus means we are taking the remainder here, so the second operand must be non-zero. This condition is true, so answer is true. When plus and minus operator are used with one operand, they are known as they are known as binary operator, ternary operator, unary operator, or logical operator. When we are using this with the single operand, so it is known as unary operator. When we are using this with the both operands. Then at that time, this is known as binary operator. Dash operators are symbols that are used to test the relationship between the two variables or between a variable and a constant. So binary is the operator, ternary operator, unary operator, and relational operator. To check the relation, we are using the operator, relational operator. Answer is B. Dash operators are used to combine two or more expressions. Options are bitwise, arithmetic, logical, relational, and answer is C, logical. We are using the AND operator, OR operator, and the NOT operator. Means we are checking if the first condition is true and second condition is also true. Okay, so we are using logical operator. Which of the following is not a logical operator? Options are AND, OR, NOT equals to AND. We know that logical operators are and or not. Okay, so answer is C, not equal to. Next, here is a one uh, program. Press the output of this program. A equals to seven. Print f a equals to percent b and print the value of a here. Okay, here is a a plus plus fourth increment. So print the current value of a, then increment the value in memory. So first print the a. So it will print the value seven. Okay, so a is seven. Answer is a. Next question here in the main a equals to seven. A equals to percent b minus minus b means here is a pre increment. So first perform the decrement. Okay, pre decrement. So first seven minus one will be here, and then we will get the output as six. The bitwise operator cannot be used with a float. Double, void, long double, or other complex type. True or false? It is a true. You cannot use this operator with the other complex type. Dash operator is used to assign a value of expression to the variable. We know that assignment operator. See here is a shorthand assignment operator also. Options are equal to, less than, plus equal to, equal to. This is last one is a comparison operator. Option C is a shorthand assignment plus operator. Okay, and the correct answer is A equals to operator. We are using this assignment operator to assign the value of expression to the variable. Conditional operator also known as dash in a C language. Conditional operator is also known as ternary operator. Okay, binary means require the two operands, unary means require the one only. And in ternary operator, we are checking the condition in which we require the two operands only. Size of is a dash 
operators used to consult the size of the operand in C language. The options are binary operator, unary operator, ternary operator, assignment operator. And the answer is B, unary operator. Actually, it looks like a function, but it is not a function. Size of user operator. And we are using it as a unary operator. Next question, what will be the value of a max? A equals to 10, B equals to 6. Max equals to A greater than the B. Question mark. Means here we are using actually the third value of A greater than B. If it is a greater, it works like a if else statement. If it is a greater, it will print the A. Otherwise, it will print the B. So, what will be the value of max? A. A value is a 10. 10 greater than 6 or not? Yes, it is a true. So, it will display the A value. So, 10. So, max value is 10. And output for this is a 10. Size of is a dash in a C program. Size of is a operator. Okay, it is not a function. It looks like a function, but it is a operator. Question number 17. Operator we can use in a C programming to calculate the dynamic memory allocation. Which operator we are using for calculating the size? We know that we are using the size of operator to calculate the dynamic memory allocation. So, answer is the size of operator. Dash is a way to convert a variable from one data type to another data type. We are using the concept of type casting to convert variables from one data type to another data type. Int main, int x equals to 5, character y equals to 8, x equals to x plus y, print x equals to person b, comma x, and return 0. So see here, uh, we are using the type casting here, character y equals to 8, and we know that a is actually value. A is actually value is 65. Here x equals to x plus y. So x value is a 5 and y value, y ASCII value is a 65. So 65 plus 5, 70. And here we are printing the integer value. So here output will be 70. So answer is D, 70. And last question is dash operator having lowest precedence. We know that the precedence of all the operators. Uh, and the options are arithmetic, uh, comma, logical, and conditional. And the answer is comma. Comma having lowest precedence. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and share this quiz with your friends. Thank you.